Broncos, Steam Trains, and Lo-Fi Beats are just some of the releases that grace the simulation world this week. Hi there folks, my name is NovaWing24 and welcome to the Nova Wrap, your once up location for your simulation release news and goings on from the week that was. So here we are on a Sunday the 14th of April for another action-packed episode and we're going to jump straight into the releases this week with the team over at Azure Poly releasing their latest aircraft with the release of their long-awaited OV-10 Bronco. So the OV-10 Bronco is probably one of the most iconic, uh, iconic, yeah, I'm going to go with iconic aircraft as serving in a obs observation and uh, ground attack role, uh, developed in the 1960s and used uh, primarily initially by the American forces, but then finding a home with many air forces around the world. It served in the coin role as supporting ground troops and frontline roles, pursued using art as an artillery spotter, and serving getting a second lease on life as a target tug and as a fire spotter for firefighting organizations around the world. So the team over at Zeopoly continue their recreations of high-quality aircraft with releasing this uh, Bronco and having modelled it on a real-world aircraft. They deliver to us a highly detailed 3D model of an OV-10B on internally with external with a distinctive external models for both OV-10A and OV-10B variants. They include a number of liveries with a highly accurate flight model designed and worked and created in cooperation with real OV-10 pilots, full animations, avionics, and a custom code electronics and fuel system uh, faithful to the real aircraft. It includes a, a number of features, including, a, as I said, the customized fuel system, which includes the external tank implementation and the ability to ability to jettison said external tank, uh, tire deformation depending on aircraft pressure and weight, which is I think is a pretty unusual thing to see a feature in flight sims and kind of cool to see it, uh, various covers, red flags, all the usual things that you see, as well as full support for those who do prefer your modern avionics, uh, does support the GNS 430, GTN 650 by default, uh, as well as support for TDS sim and PMS 50 versions of the same, uh, uh, same avionics suite. Uh, along with that, you also include a custom EFB to be able to manage various aircraft settings. This has become pretty standard now, uh, as long with a auto, auto with a basic autopilot implemented by the EFB. Because fun story, the real aircraft didn't have one. Uh, so the team over at Zero Poly have released this aircraft uh, coming in at thirty US dollars or original equivalent, uh, available now from the In Sim marketplace no word yet on whether it will be released through other vendors uh generally as your poly stuff does uh, tend to uh, appear on sim market and on orbix direct in uh, a little bit after its initial release so hopefully for those who prefer buying their content uh, outside of the marketplace uh you can wait for that uh reading through the product website it does suggest that that is going to be the case because they have also provided the release of a weapons pack for so for those who do want to uh have uh, various uh, uh guns and uh air to air and air to ground stores fitted to your bronco as obviously they did for most of their life uh there is a weapons pack available for you to include for you to uh, upgrade your marketplace uh, purchase uh, because of the various uh, store restrictions that they have. But anyway, as I said, available now from the Insane Marketplace for 30 US dollars or your original equivalent available now. Continuing on with Microsoft Flight Simulator releases now moving into the world of scenery. Uh, so uh, the team over at Tropical Sim have released their latest airport with the release of Asuncion International in Airport in Paraguay. Uh, so this comes to us, so the detailed rendition of the airport as it appears in 2023 uh, with the update to the uh, to two international concourses with the completed work on the northern concourse. Uh, it gives a uh, accurate rendition of the airport with all airport buildings modelled, custom night lighting, uh, full support for dynamic lighting built into the sim. I don't know why I'm talking about that now because nobody cares about it. Um, the list of features is pretty low. Uh, overall, most of the building modelling looks pretty good. The ground poly is a bit of a mixed bag, uh, but overall looking like a pretty standard release coming in from the team over at Tropical Sim. Now, if you want to pick this one up, you can pick some up for eighteen US dollars, or your original equivalent available now from markets. Uh, sticking with uh, Latin America now, uh, moving now into Argentina, the team over at Simulcania Extrema released their latest airport release for the release of Baja Blanca Airport in Argentina. Uh, this is a combined civilian military uh, airport with uh, half the airport being devoted to the civilian side, the other half being the 
used by the Argentinian military forces. Both the army and the navy have operations uh, based out of there. Uh, accurate airport rendition as it appears in the end at the end of 2023 uh, with customized jetways, uh, customized terrain elevation data, full high definition text used, used throughout, uh, with uh, various uh, heliports and uh, military operations uh, nearby also in. Included. Uh, various customized starts, uh, including whether you want to fly be uh, fly one on the military side or whether you want to fly the civilian side, it is supported. Uh, from again looking at the screenshots there, the airport buildings look pretty much accurate from a quick look of the old Google Maps, a nice use of ground clutter and some nice static aircraft there, uh, with the old terminal being modelled in some reasonable details uh, for the military side, as well as including the uh, Naval Aviation Museum for the Argentinian Naval Forces is actually included as well, which is kind of cool. It also includes a uh, sort of like a, a painted carrier deck, which they have some things uh, displayed on. So overall, looking pretty good. The ground poly looks pretty good. Um, some of the some of the textures are a little bit jarring. Actually, you know what? No, they're actually no. They're having another look at it. They're not too bad, actually. P- pretty decent release, I think, from this one. So overall, blends into the overall scenery pretty well. So from a from the team here, pretty good release from them. If you want to pick this one up, you can pick this one up for fourteen US dollars or your original equivalent available now from Sim Market. Uh, rounding out the Microsoft Flight Simulator releases this week, this time from the team over at Spinoza, released another one of their small airport collection airports with the release of Verdun Scharnhorst Airfield in Lower Saxony. Uh, so, a small GA airport, uh, primarily uh, used for gliding and parachutists, uh, for those crazy people who like to jump out of aeroplanes, perfectly serviceable aeroplanes. Uh, so, single runway grass uh, ops with uh, airport buildings modelled. Um, not really much to say about it. It's the pretty standard release from Spinoza. They do uh, the off the beaten path kind of airports in some pretty good detail. It gives us some pretty good lifelike creations of it based on real world uh, images. I uh, can tell all the signage looks pretty good and overall looking pretty sta- pretty solid release again once again from the team at Spinoza. If somewhat pos- potentially a little bit on the pricey side. So coming in for 16 US dollars or your original equivalent available now. Markets. Moving out of the flight simulation world now, moving into the world of the permanent way. So the team over at Machine Rail have released their latest uh, piece of DLC for Dovetail Games Train Simulator Classic with the release of Empire State Express number 999. So this is a interesting train. I didn't know about this until I read about the content. Uh, so this is a record-breaking train that actually... Um, set a new world record of uh, a, a train traveling over a mile of 112.5 miles per hour by completing uh, the one mile uh, track in 31.5 seconds um so yeah apparently it was a bit of a publicity stunt slash uh marketing thing for the train operator at the time but it was all in uh, in good fun and uh, for uh, for marketing purposes, because who doesn't want to ride on the fastest thing? And known as the Queen of Speed, as the locomotive became known in its uh, in it during its life. Uh, so this uh, includes uh, not only do you get a fully recreated uh, version of the 1893 class NC 14 to 440 steam locomotive number triple nine, uh, you also get a number of rolling stock uh, that suits for more its uh, train for its train and passenger operations uh, with authentic visuals and authentic driving uh, simulation. You also get four career scenarios for the uh, Boston uh, Boston and and Albany route as well if you want to uh, put this train through its paces. If you want to pick this one up and add this one to your collection, you can pick this one up for $25 US or your original equivalent available now on Steam. And finally, rounding out the Nova app this week with something very different. I'm not 100 percent sure why I got tagged as simulation, but it popped into my uh, into my research and um, is a bit of an interesting one for me. Uh, so this one, so this is Spirit City Lo-Fi Sessions. Now I know this is probably not the title, the kind of game that many of you will probably be interested in, but. Hear me out on this one. So, uh, lo-fi music is something that I use regularly uh, anyway when I'm researching, when I'm d- doing a lot of editing, uh, when I'm working on liveries and stuff like that. And I found it does help my concentration. Um, it's been a bit of a phenomenon for the last probably five years or so, but it's seen a 
huge increase in popularity um, on YouTube, YouTube music um, uh, over the last uh, over the last couple of years, and it's been interesting to watch it. Uh, kind of cool. So to see a game about it was something that I was definitely not experience and uh, not expecting um for those who remember like the pioneer of the genre by the way it was chill out cow also now known as life lo-fi girl um highly recommend that challenge channel by the way if you um ever need some concentration or just want something different to put on some background music to put on highly recommend it anyway uh so this game is uh from one of the newcomers to the um to the genre uh they are doing some interesting stuff they do some reasonably good uh, lo-fi mixes. I've just li- listened to quite a few of them in, uh, in my time as well. Uh, they're not bad mixes, and this is a gamification of that kind of idea, but it's the idea is is that this isn't a game necessarily that you play. This is a game that you have running in the background while you're doing other things. So if you're you know, working from home or working in the office or even if you're streaming, um, all the music that's included in here is stream safe. Uh, so if you're just wanting something to put on the, in the background while you're streaming, doing your just chatting streams or whatever, or if you're just you know, chilling and focusing on homework, on study or on actual work for those of us who work for a living like I do and one of the reasons why I don't get as much content as I'd like to. Um, you can have this running in the background and it's kind of cool. It also features various things like, you know, tasks and to, to keep you healthy, you know, keep you hydrated and to be able to take breaks at regular interviews to keep up your uh, mental capacity. So it's an interesting concept. Um, a lot of this stuff you can basically do yourself but if you find you need a bit of help with your discipline and doing this kind of stuff, this might be a title for you. Uh, some of the reviews on Steam about this have been really interesting because a lot of people have flat out said at the start of their review said, this is not my kind of game. Um, but they gave it a try or their partner gave it a try or somebody else they knew gave it a try and they watched it and went, you know what, this is actually really good. So um as I said, this is not something I would normally cover, but I wanted to highlight it because it's a genre of music that I do use on a regular basis, um, and I know it does help me me with my concentration, and this adds some extra stuff to that, to doing the gamification of like learning at everyday tasks, which I'm a big supporter of, you know, working in the... Um, training and development space, uh, gamification of learning is a, is a big thing. So seeing this applied to everyday things is kind of interesting uh, about that. So yeah. Anyway, if you want to pick this one up or check it out, it is available on Steam, uh, normally coming in for 12 bucks. It's currently on a launch special of uh, 20% off coming in for less than 10 bucks. Um, give it a try. You might be surprised. Anyway, available now on Steam. And with that, folks, that does now round of the Nova app for this week. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget, as always, to like the video and subscribe to the channel if you enjoy these videos and want to see more. And, of course, as always, you can catch up with me and all the things I'm up to between videos by finding me on Facebook and on Twitter and on Twitch. Just search Nova Wing 24. All right, folks, thanks very much for watching. Take care, safe guys to all, and we'll see you next time. Bye for now.